Hello everybody, this is John Johnston. Coordination. Preparing to do the BTN 10K this morning. Should have done this earlier in the week, that way I could have, you know, pushed it a little bit more. I am a little apprehensive about it. It's crappy out. I mean, at least it's cooled off. But there are, I live in Minnesota and there are wildfires in Canada that are apparently pushing gobs of smoke. So we're probably going to actually do this BTN 10K wearing masks, which sounds dumb, but uh, you know, I already have my share of medical issues. You know, I don't know if you follow this channel, you know that I've had a heart attack in the past, was dead for 20 minutes, I have a brain injury. I'm a screwed up person. Part of my heart is dead. And it's the part that had any love for Creighton, Iowa, Wisconsin, Texas. Well, quite a number of things, actually. It's not that a massive part of my heart is dead. It's that all of those things are really small. I didn't have a lot of love for them in the first place. But we're going to do the BTN 10K. Last year was an easier summer for me. I walked four to six miles a day, or I mountain biked four to six miles a day. This year, I haven't even pulled my bike down, and I've been struggling with two miles a day. So, we'll see what happens. Here we are, two miles. <laughs> as much as I stumble and walk like a drunk, uh, it should be about eight miles for me, but uh, things are going well so far not too smoky we don't have masks there you go that's your update we're at halfway coordination how are you feeling well I think it's mile four where I usually start hallucinating and getting voices in my head right now I just feel lightheaded kind of a little wobbly you can tell I got the drunk walk going a little yeah. bit better or I'm just kind of stumbling into you as we walk so we'll finish I am resolved mile six only point two left how's it going mr. horn nation I have got a tunnel vision going on and I haven't fallen down yet but my gait is unstable and we have the big hill we, left we it's kind of like doing the alaska marathon we have that big giant hill right at the end you can do it john right yeah sure okay coming into home stretch Just around the corner. You can do it. Are we there yet? Almost. Is it? Kind of a dumb video. But I want to encourage people to stay in shape. I stay in shape for one important reason, and that's that beautiful woman next to me while I'm walking. Because I want to be able to continue to do things with her as we get older. You know, I don't want to be one of those people that sits in a rocking chair and makes excuses and then just starts, you know, drifting into shit as life goes on and be somebody she has to take care of instead of having fun herself. Man, I look like a decrepit old man at the end. Lousy posture and yes, I was really kind of staggering because uh, I was exhausted. It was a little tough this year. I don't think it was that bad last year, but 
I hope next year that we get more people to participate in the BTN 10K and then we do kind of a, maybe, I don't know, have a community around it. That's my hope. I hope you stay in better shape. I hope you take care of yourselves. I hope you're around for many more football seasons because I think this one's going to be a special one coming up, and we're going to have fun. Take care of yourselves. Go Big Red.